So this video is on the relationship between the imaginal faculty and focusing or becoming absorbed in meditation. Part of the process of meditation is allowing for and pointing oneself in the direction of the mind becoming suffused with something. So it can be suffused with the qualities of the breath, for example, or it can be suffused with the qualities of being for the welfare of beings, for example. So this process of the mind and the object, uh, say for example the breath, coming together uh, and permeating each other is an important part of the process. So coming into experience of oneself as a whole and then into the awareness of the breath is a way of doing this. You're effectively bringing the breath, the sensations of the breath and the mind together or the being even together. And when they come together it's what we call absorption. And in the state of absorption, there's very little, if any, distracted mind. You're very present, you're very absorbed, and that there is a sense of qualities that can grow and deepen. Uh, and this potentiality for the qualities of the mind to expand and grow is very great. But in the process, Something that can be very helpful is to use uh, the metaphoric question. Now, when you're starting to be aware, for example, of the breath as it comes in and out of the nostril, there are certain sensations and you're focusing on those sensations or you're letting those sensations, as it were, come to you and fill the space of your mind. You can approach it either way. You go to it or it comes to you or a, a combination of both. Now when you're in touch with the qualities of the sensations of the breath, you can very quietly and very gently ask the question, what's it like? Now there are sort of quite common uh, experiences uh, that I've heard people give, like the breath or the rhythm of the breath is like waves on a shore coming in and going out. And that that image is quite direct, it's, it's, a, it's vivid, it's not an idea as such. And in that way the sense of the, or the image of the water the waves coming in and out give you the mind's sense of the breath. So the mind is tuning in to the breath. Another example might be that the sensations might be like uh, the froth or white horses as the waves coming up on the beach. A sense of sort of excitement and energy. And that image of uh, the froth or uh, white horses on the waves can help you get in touch with, or help you, your mind get in touch more directly and more deeply with the actual sensations. So it's not that you're getting caught up in the image, but the image gives you a deeper and richer sense of the sensations or the quality. So for example, with being for the welfare of, of beings, uh, you might, for example, just be in touch with a, a sense of being for and you ask, what's it like? And it might feel like a, a globe or a sphere of, of care. Uh, or it might feel like golden hands, for example. And the image 
helps you get more in touch and absorb the, uh, the quality of being for the welfare of beings, for their felt health and, uh, and emotional and mental welfare and physical welfare. So in this way, actually asking the question, what's it like in relationship to a specific thing like the breath or like the quality of being for the welfare of beings evokes the imaginal image which helps you engage more vividly with it and in that way you periodically drop in the question. You don't have to do it all the time, in fact it's better not to do it all the time. Just do it very occasionally and when an image or a sense comes just check it back to uh, how you are and if it fits then just drop the question and stay with the quality or the sensation.